Hey guys, welcome to my first Floss 2 video. This is about the fourth time I've tried to film this. I'm having a lot of camera shaking issues. I'm going to try to be as still as possible. I'm so sorry. I don't think this is where I normally want to film. I haven't quite figured out how I want to do that yet, so please bear with me while I give it a shot. I'm going to try not to shake the camera. It's really a problem. When I was watching back, I actually filmed a whole one. And when I was watching it back, it shook so much that I knew if it was driving me crazy, it would drive you crazy too. So I'm really gonna try to keep it to a minimum. I feel like I, if I breathe, the whole camera moves, so I am so sorry. Also, I apologize for the mess that my hair is. It was in a wig all day yesterday because of Halloween, so it's a little bit of a mess. But anyway, my name is Juliette. I live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I am currently married. I got married in December of last year. We have two guinea pigs. Their names are Maeve and Aurora. We named them after characters in from Jim Butcher's The Dresden Files series, if any of you are fans. A little bit of obscure book stuff for you. Uh, and we did just announce it today to the world, so I guess it's okay to put on floss tube. I am 10 weeks pregnant, so we are expecting our first child. So hopefully I'll get to stitch some wonderful things for our kid, and I'm just really excited. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about my life right now. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else that's that important. Um, but I'm sure we'll get to know each other a little better as, as I continue making videos. So I started stitching when I was really little. I was six or seven. Um, we've moved, we moved around a lot when I was little. Uh, my mom's the one who got me into stitching. She does do floss tube videos. Her name is Nancy Brandt. I'm so sorry about that. Facebook. Um, her name is Nancy Brandt on YouTube. And she's a way more advanced stitcher than I probably ever will be. Uh, she has way more projects and everything, but she got me into stitching. So when I was in first or second grade, I, I stitched a little sampler with pencils and stuff on it for my teacher when we lived in Germany. Because when you're there, when you start school, you have the first teacher from like first to sixth grade or something like that. So the both years we lived there, I had the same teacher. So I stitched that for her for when we moved back to America. And, um, yeah, so she could remember me. Who knows if she still has it, but uh, that was the first thing I ever did. Uh, I did also finish a snowman. My mom has that at her house. It's framed. There was like, I don't know where it came from, but it was like there was a snow. Sorry, I'm trying not to shake the camera. I'm really, really sorry. There was like a snowman for every month of the year. Also, that's going to drive you crazy. You're already going to hate me. Like, first video on YouTube, and you're going to be like, I can't with this girl. I'm sorry. It'll get better, hopefully. I promise to try. So, yeah. That's the only other finish that I have. And I don't have either one of them with me. So, I'm very close to finishing a giant project, and I'm going to show that to you last, because I'm so, so, so excited about it. Also, I realized while filming earlier that I'm, like, I have the most wrinkly fabric in the history of stitching, I think. So I'm sorry that I'm the worst stitcher of all time. Please, please be nice to me. I, uh, don't really know how to store things. I'm not very organized. I'm just gonna admit that. So, I'm sorry. So if it bothers you that things are wrinkly, then you might not want to watch my video, but hopefully you'll stick around. I enjoy watching everybody else's videos. Um, I love seeing what people are doing and get getting really jealous about all the projects that they have. But anyway, I'm going to show you the least exciting thing first. So the big project that I have, the main project, I can't stitch around my husband because it's a secret and a surprise for him. So uh, there have been a few times that I've, most of the time I stitch when he's not around. He does work shift work, so nights like tonight, he's closing and I'm by myself, so I have plenty of time. I also work after hours at um, the clinic that I work at. Sometimes I do extra shifts on the weekend and it's just sitting there waiting to see if a phone is going to ring and most of the time it doesn't. So I just stitch the whole time. It's either 9 to 4 or 4 to 11 and I've gotten most of my main project done then because he's not there. He, there's no chance he's going to be there and I can just stitch. But the there, like I said, I, we live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana and we had a flood and I was stuck at home. I didn't most of the time I was a little too stressed to stitch, but 
for a very brief time there, I wanted to do something to take my mind off of everything that was happening outside. Uh, we didn't get flooded. My grandparents did. So I was constant, and my parents were unsure about whether they were going to or not. So I was constantly, oh, and AT&T went down. So I was constantly going through Facebook and things trying to, anyway, I was stressed. But I wanted to stitch. I wanted to get my mind off of it. So I started a project that I said I wasn't going to start yet. But this is from Heaven and Earth Designs. This is Mercury Dragon. Um, no background because I'm not a crazy person. Well, I am, but that's a different story. No background because I don't want to stitch all that. That's too much purple and just too repetitive and I wouldn't like it. So I got some hand dyed fabric to stitch it on. Um, it's from Silk Weaver. It is 25 count. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why my computer's making so much noise. I'm really, really sorry. It is on 25 count linen. It is, like I said, it's from Silk Weaver. It's opalescent. You're not going to be able to see it on this camera, but it is sparkly. And it's Lily of the Valley colored. I love it so much. It's fun to just look at. And like I said, it's a little wrinkly because I just fold it and store it. So, oh my gosh, I'm shaking the camera again. So, all I've done is the tip of two, like the very tip, two tips of wings. That's all I've done. But it's one over one on 25 counts. So, I'm pretty proud of myself. It's going to look awesome. It's so detailed. Like just that little bit. I can't wait to work on it more, but it would really take up too much of my time right now and I need to finish this this big project. I need to finish the present for my husband. Necessity. So that's my first work in progress. I'm sorry the camera's gonna shake for a little bit because I'm gonna get my other project. So we did have a death in the family so we ended up having an emergency trip to Ohio and I brought the dragon with me since my husband was with me and I knew I was gonna want a stitch to take my mind off of things. But that dragon is a little too intense. It's very fun for when I'm in a stitching mood, but when I'm stitching to try and distract myself, it's it doesn't really do it. So I ended up going to the craft store while we were up there. I printed up the Frosted Pumpkin Passport Stitch Along, and I haven't worked on it since the trip. But while we were on the trip, like I said, I have very wrinkly fabric. I'm so sorry. I did this. This is how far I've gotten. Um, and now that we know we're expecting a child, I plan to finish it and hang it up wherever the kid sleeps. We're not planning to live in this apartment for that much longer. I mean, the okay, I say that much longer. Um, the baby's due in May. We're planning to move in July. Our lease is up and we're getting a house. So I'm not really planning to decorate for like the baby or anything yet because I don't know what the house is going to look like. I have no idea. But I do know... But I'm gonna to want to finish this and hang it up because I think it's gonna be really, really cute. And it's just on just a piece of blue Ada that I found at the craft store that was 14 count, but I knew I could stitch them easily. It is also the roughest piece of Ada I think I've ever held. I mean, it was cheap. I did just grab it. It's very, very rough. At least it'll just be framed. You can not have to feel it because it's not. It doesn't feel very good. But it's pretty easy to stitch on and. Yeah, it's, we called it potato chip stitching, both me and my mom, when we were up there, because she had, we needed potato chip books that we could read, and potato chip stitching that we could work on things to take our mind off of it, that was kind of like potato chips for our soul. Um, that was what we said when we were up there, so. That's how that project came to be, because I wasn't originally going to do it. I thought it was cute. Uh, I always kind of wanted to do it, but I wasn't going to. Um, but now it is in my rotation. So I'm going to show you some of the other charts that I just own before I show you my big project. Where did I put them? Where is everything? I just had it because I just filmed this. Ah, here it is. I said I'm not very organized. Probably isn't the craft for me, but I love it so much. So get over it. Um, so I have that Mercury dragon. I also have all of the other dragons, and I did order matching fabric for all of them. Now, I don't know if any of you have ordered from Silk Weaver, but they take literally forever. When I ordered that first piece of fabric, I ordered it in like February or something. I don't think I got it to like May. 
And it says on there that it would take two weeks. It says two weeks to dye it and then two weeks to ship or something like that. And after it had been four weeks, I emailed them and they said, oh, you know, it'll be out soon. And I emailed them again. I said, I just want to make sure it's not lost. And if you can't, I mean, like if it's, you know, if I can't get it for whatever reason, because it was a limited edition color. I said, if, you, if I can't get it for whatever reason, like, please give me my money back. And they said, no, we're going to ship it. They did finally. And it's beautiful. And I love it. So I ordered from them again when they sent out the email saying that they were discontinuing all of their limited edition colors. So I ordered a different color, but they're all the opalescent, all the same size, all from the same series for all the other dragons. So I do have, this is Venus. I'm pretty excited about these. My husband is very excited about the idea of eventually having all of these in our house. I told him it'll probably be after, like, we can't see anymore, but it's going to take me forever. This is Earth. But, you know, you never know. Maybe I'll get really fast or something. This is Mars. I love these. Like, I love them so much I couldn't resist it. I think I bought them from a sale. I think everything I bought from Heaven and Earth Designs has been from a sale because I just don't want to spend so many. Jupiter? Jupiter? Yes, Jupiter. Saturn. Uranus. See that? It's Neptune. I love the blue on this one. I'm really excited about the stitch on this one. You know, in 65 years when I get to it. And Pluto is a planet in my mind. So Pluto plus how cool does Pluto look? And I think I'm going to pick like the darkest but hand dyed fabric. I think there was one that was like really dark red and blue. I'm going to stitch this one on that. Pretty excited. I did order one of their surprise mystery boxes and I got this really pretty 32 count linen. It's just like green. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But it is really pretty. Um, so I do have that. And with it, they sent me. I'm not going to use this pattern on that fabric because I'm just not. But Beauty and the Beast. It's one of my favorite Disney stories. I always relate to it so much because I am such a reader. And she's just my favorite. Um, but I don't. I don't want to put this on that fabric because. Full coverage shouldn't go on hand dyed fabric. And then because I am absolutely insane, I bought this on another sale. It is the Stitch and Time Max Color Chart. This, I understand, will probably never get done, but it is one of my favorite pieces that I've ever seen. It is the background on almost all of my computers, including at work, just because it reminds me that. I want to have this hanging in a craft room one day. I don't really have a craft room right now, but one day I want a craft room and I want this hanging up. So those are the charts that I own. Um, so I get, I'm sorry. So I guess it's time to show you the big project. So I have been with my husband. We've only been married since December, but I've been with him for almost five years. We started dating November of 2011. In about November of 2012, I decided I wanted to make him a Christmas present. And I'd seen things online. I'd been watching my mom. I decided I wanted to stitch again. And I bought a pattern off of Etsy. Just on a whim, I bought a pattern. It's like eight bucks. I think now it's free. But, you know, it was eight bucks at the time. And I bought it, and I was like, it'll be a Christmas present? I don't know what was wrong with me. Like, clearly this is way too big. I never would have finished it in a month. Whatever. So I've been stitching it up until I'm almost done. But I've been stitching it for, yeah, four years. Four years. Now, granted, some of that time I took breaks, but... Let me make sure it's the right way here. 
This is the first generation of Pokemon. And it's like, I can't even get it all in the, the frame. Like, it's awesome. It came out so well. I I just have this corner right here. That is it. And then but I understand the edges of it are very dirty. I've had this for a long time. It's going to get very well and carefully cleaned once I am done. And then I will frame it. And I don't care how expensive it is. I've put so much time and love into this. I've, I started having nightmares about it, like, catching on fire or, like, getting ripped. Or, like, I... I've had stress dreams about this. Like, I'm so excited to give it to him. I've gone this long without him knowing what it is. He knows it's stitching. And he's really excited to get it. And I've showed his best friend. And he's going to love it. He's obsessed with Pokemon. He loves them so, so much. So I, I really, really can't wait to give this to him. Let's see if I can just give you a little more of a... I'm just so proud of it. I, um... Remember when I bought it, I had my mom help me get started because it had been so long since I'd been stitching. And she helped me print out the pages. And she laid it, we laid them out on the kitchen floor because I still lived with her. And we bought fabric. And she goes, you know you're never going to finish this. I said, oh yeah, I will. I mean, I'm proving her wrong, but it just took me four years and not a month. No, I really don't know what was wrong with me, but... If you can see, this is my pattern. I've been working on this for so long that it is just falling apart. But I just have this page right here. This is what I'm working on right now. Once I'm done with this page, I just have this little bit. And then I am done. Done. I am so, like, beyond excited beyond excited. He's going to flip out. I, I can't wait. Um, and shout out to my mom for making me this wonderful bag, which holds my project in it. So he knows not to look in this bag. He knows this is my secret stitching bag that he is not to open. And I bring it back and forth to work and I carry it around and I love it so much. So shout out to my mom for making that for me. She is, like I said, way more crafty than I am. This is pretty much the only real craft that I do. I've crocheted a blanket before, but this is this is what I love. I've been working on this for so long. It's going to be so great to have this done and get to really work on other things. So I really, really, really can't wait. I will definitely film an update. Maybe try and film this reaction. Maybe I'll just do it on my phone and edit it in or something. That would be wonderful. But... <sighs> Yeah, so that's just a little intro of who I am as a stitcher, just what I'm working on right now. Clearly my goal is to finish this. That's my main goal in stitching right now. I'm actually going to start working on that once I upload this video. And then I'm then I'm probably going to finish the pumpcorn, pumpcorn, hmm, top, ah, pumpkin passport because I think that will be great to hang up in a baby's room and then I'll really get to work on those dragons. I really can't wait. I might also try and... My mom stitched, like, cross-stitched an afghan for me when I was a baby. I might try and figure out a way to do that. That would be really cute. Sort of have that be a tradition. And then hopefully whoever he or she is will be a stitcher too. But you never know. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you never want to see me post again, please let me know. But I hope that you do. I do really want to be more involved in the community. I've sort of been lurking on the edges of it for a while. I really want to get more involved. I want to get to know you guys. So please leave me comments. Let me know if there's anything you need me to fix. I know that this camera wobbling is an issue. I don't have a stand or anything or like a real place to film. So we're going to figure that out. We will. We'll, we'll get it together. But I wanted to make this video just let you guys know who I am, what's going on with me. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, bye guys.